a new day, hopefully a new fixing, and here we have a really nice and interesting multimeter. That's a Hayoki BT3554 battery tester. This guy can measure the internal resistance of the batteries simply injecting a 1 kilohertz signal and measuring the impedance. Of course, to a certain voltage, I'm not sure, it was made in 2016, we should have a maximum of 60 volts. So it's very possible this one got ruined because of a higher voltage applied to the probes. It's very nice, you know, Hayoki it's made in Japan. You don't see too often this kind of stuffs on the market. So it's a it's a really professional device. And let's see what's happening here. Let's do a zero adjustment. There we go. So we have to have a short, a perfect short to the testers. Y range. And as you can see, it's not measuring anymore. So we had a, a little bit of working, but not anymore. So here we have a very clear input problem. The measurements with this kind of machines are done in four points. Not only a voltage applied here, but also a frequency of one kilohertz. And uh, we should start checking the fuse, but I'm pretty sure the fuse is okay. Yeah, here we have a fuse. Let's clean it a little bit. Yeah, it's counter spray. Okay, let's go back. Power on. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Let's check connectors, the wires. No problem at all. The wires and the connectors are absolutely okay. What else can be? We should have a voltage here. Nothing and nothing. 0 0.98 kilohertz. So there we should have a very clear signal to the oscilloscope. There we go. It's a square wave. Okay. 500 millivolts. And we have a 980 hertz. So almost 1000 hertz, one kilohertz. Yeah, that's a pretty nice square wave. So this is working. What about here? Yes, that's the measurement port. It's kind of sampling, let's call it with 12 kilohertz. Acquiring the voltages. So far, so good. The most important part was to have that one kilohertz here, which is present and we have like 1.28 volts rm okay so far so good i can see the tester the battery tester it's measuring voltages but it's not measuring internal resistance okay let me have a lithium cell here and let's see 4.01 volts but no internal resistance this guy is doing exactly the same job but of course, without whistles and memories and compare. Oh, okay, no, this one also have a compare function, but got no memory for uh, jumps. Yeah, and let's see, you see the same measurement in four points, and we got there like 57.6 milliohms. So we should have these numbers on the display. And if we take a look with the oscilloscope, we should find the same one kilohertz injected frequency for measuring the internal resistance. But before anything, let me bring some other pair of uh, wires and let's try to improvise a kind of four points tester like this. Okay, so I put them all together. We should have a big zero or zero something milli ohms on the display. Nothing, 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 nothing. No data. So I may say the um, tester, it's counting or measuring randomly. And uh, let's try once more. I just let it cool down a little bit. Now we should have a kind of zero point something milliohms. I remember I pushed this and this, but still nothing. I remember the owner told me that with fresh batteries, it's working, it's always working, okay? So we can do a test about that. Let me see the voltages now, 9.12. Maybe I should try to apply a higher voltage here. Okay, 10 volts, maybe 11, even 12, why not? 
I'm pretty sure nothing wrong here because it have a lot of power regulators inside there and so I'm pretty sure nothing wrong can happen. So I take the batteries out. Let's have two pieces of wire and my power supply. I have to check this to be sure that everything is fine. 291, okay, let's push it some more. Okay, too much. All right, 11 volts, almost. That's 11 volts here, and we should have the plus going where? Okay, that's the plus. And here, at the end of the row, we have the minus. There we go. Power on. Of course, it's working. Let's see. Same story. Nothing. Shall we go a little bit higher? Yes. Look there. This is so funny. 61.9 ohms. <laughs> this is really funny. So, yeah, 24 milliohms, 16. Well, I can't adjust the zero, but anyway, if I'm doing this and I'm having the, the testers run in to another, we should have 0 0.7 milliohms. But let's see how much volts do we have there now. So he was right. It's working with a higher volt, 1097. We have 10 volt. Okay, let's go to 12 volt. 12.35. No, it's working for sure. No more? Yes, of course. But you know what's funny? Okay, 0 0.4 milliohms. If I'm getting the voltage down, just disappear. It's working. How many volts do we have here? 9.999. And? And it's working. Funny. Okay, let's dismantle this guy and take a look on the board and see what's happening there. There you go. Multimeter in diode mode. Let's check those diodes here first. This little guy, this is good. This is good. These guys are okay. And this one, it's okay too. So we have a few resistors here. 3304 we have a, we have a coil here which is good we have another one that's an L5 okay i believe i believe we have a coil right here which gives me oh no it's zero it's okay it's another another fuse here 1 amp and we have another coils okay this is good what about these capacitors fine I'm looking for short. Then we have a area of resistors here, one mega ohm. So far, I found one of these diodes having no readings both ways. Now we should have a 700 something. Okay, let's go to diode mode, infinite and infinite. Okay, and uh, I wanna try to have a better look with the microscope to see exactly what kind of part it's that one. Uh, where are you? Is this one here? All right, so that's a BZ51Z. Z. I think it's a center diode, maybe. Oh, it's 60, so it's 51Z60. The point is that uh, even like that, we should have some numbers here. Okay, let's let's take a look to another diode. Let's let's take a look at this one here. Maybe maybe it's something similar. This one up here. All right. So we have some more. Okay, it's done. Let's check this like that. Nothing and nothing. All right, so now let's have a kind of uh, power and nothing. Okay, now let's, okay. So this one was with the plus down here. Okay, let's have a strap. Doesn't hurt, nothing happens. Or better, let me have a channel diode like this. I think this is a 12 volts channel. Okay, let's plant it on power on and nothing nothing I'm not sure okay maybe it's not a matter of diode so finally it turns to be a kind of water damage in this area let me check it again let's take a look with the microscope yeah that's pretty okay let's redo Nice. 
guys and these guys yeah, everything is solid here yes it is it's looking good wow <laughs> we have a bridge here done well, there's nothing else I can do I consider this a fix okay I don't know I have to read the manual I'm too lazy to do that anyway if we if we test with the testing board it's looking like it's working Four point five milli ohms here. What about these guys? Ninety four milli ohms. And what about this? Twenty. Okay, seven point eight. No. Yeah, okay. So yeah, it's working. It's looking like it's working. Let's measure this again. Six to one point six milli ohms. And what about the zero? 0 0.4 milli ohms all right well guys that's a fix i hope it's useful thank you for now uh, please like please subscribe and don't forget have some fun bye bye